Hey everybody, thanks for taking a couple minutes to tune into my channel. In my last beekeeping video, I found a couple of queen cells up in my honey supers. And if you want to see that video, I'll put a link to that right up here. Long story short, I basically trapped my queen in the honey supers. She didn't have a lot of places to lay. And I think that the bees thought that she was coming to an end. And they built a couple uh, queen cells right in the middle of some honey super frames. So that's my thought. I got her back down into the deep boxes. She's laying just fine. She's still in there. I'm going to try to do a couple uh, midsummer splits. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm not sure. But basically, I'm going to take the two frames out of here that have the queen cells on them. I'm hoping I don't need smoke. And I got two three frame split boxes here. I got replacement frames ready here. And I'm going to go to my other apiary to steal a couple other frames to go along with them if i don't drop everything here i'm not going to get down and in deep into the boxes here i'm hoping to just get the actual frames out of here right now i've already been through both of these deep boxes i don't want to go completely through them again i got other hives that i can take some resources off of so I'm just interested in these two frames and I should have marked them. I didn't exactly know what I was going to do with them. Hoping I can find them here. All the way there, girl. If I can keep these girls nice and calm, it'd be great. Got an angry one already. Well, that was pretty lucky. Right here is one of them. This one isn't exactly in the middle, but the other one's pretty much in the middle. Uh, the swarm cells are usually right at the bottom hanging off of here. So here's one queen cell. I'm going to drop this into one of these boxes. I believe the other one is in this direction. I'm going to shake some bees into there too. Not here. Not here. Hopefully it's on the next one. And there's the other one, right here. Well, I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna separate these girls, see if I can get one to mate. Maybe have an extra queen or something in case I gotta requeen. Maybe somebody else would need a queen that I could help them out with or whatever. But you don't know until you try. All right, I'm gonna Shake a couple of these bees off of here. A couple of replacement frames in here. Alright, I'm going to head to my other yard and steal some resources for them. Alright, I'm at my second yard. I can take from one of these hives here pretty easily without diminishing their population a whole lot. I got replacement frames ready, I got my smoke ready, and I'm going to transfer a couple frames into those split boxes. Check out some of these honey supers while I'm at it, maybe. That's heavy.
capping off a lot of that honey. I'm gonna have a pretty decent extraction coming again. I gotta get these boxes off here though. This is a full super here. Yo, yeah, it's heavy. Dang. Okay, down in here, let's see what we can find. Here's one I'm gonna take right here. Got some cat brood, some foragers, workers, hopefully some nurse bees on here. Honey stores for them. All right, so I'm gonna snag this one to start with. We'll see what happens. Like I said, lots of strength here. Oh boy, you got a bunch of, well, they're dry queen cups anyways. These girls might need some room anyways. Lots and lots of bees in here. Gotta make sure I don't take my queen. All right, I don't see my queen on here. And that's about it. I'm gonna take this frame right here, stick in the other box. And then I'm gonna give a good look through this hive. I'm gonna try to find, make sure I got my queen still in this box. All righty. All right, I'm gonna search for the, I'm gonna find my queen here, make sure she's in here. Okay, so I found my queen. And I was gonna show, here she is. Her mark is starting to rub off a little bit. She's right here. This girl's doing phenomenal. Okay, so it's actually the next day. My camera overheated right, I think it was right about when I found my queen. Hopefully I got that on video where I found my queen in the hive, she's still there. So that hive's good to go, it was super strong. I took a frame for each of these splits out of there. And I know there, there's still plenty of bees left in that hive. Actually, it might've been a good thing to get to create some room in there for them. Uh, the hive on the right is more active right now, or the split, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna give these girls probably, I don't know, at least 10 days or so to see if a queen emerges. I'll get back into there, see if there's an open queen, if the queen cells are open. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and have a couple queens to deal with. Oh, I got one angry one here. <laughs> Still a couple angry bees here. I don't got any gear on them here in shorts. And it's pretty hot and dry. I brought them a pail of water with a couple sticks in here so they can get some water. Yeah, I never made a split this late in the summer. Who knows, maybe they'll both work, maybe one will work, maybe none will work. I don't know, but you don't know until you try. I could possibly end up with two mated queens to where I could help one of my hives, help another beekeeper, who knows. Or maybe I have a whole other colony come next spring, but I'm gonna give it a go and see what happens. In about 10 days or so, I'm gonna get back into these girls and see if got anything going on. Thanks again for watching, everybody. I hope you all have a blessed day.